Hello. I read 16 books from the beginning of January to the beginning of April. Let's talk about them and rank them. All right. I kicked things off this year with The Forever War, and it was the book with which I christened my Kindle Oasis. This is a classic that I had heard much about, and so I was excited to see it on Kindle Unlimited. I've since upgraded to a trade paperback copy that I picked up from Chamblin last month. This book was pretty good. Uh, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. I thought it was interesting. It had some great scenes and some really good character moments, but nothing that really gripped me. I may have done myself a disservice by reading Old Man's War prior to this one, since Old Man's War owes a lot of what it is to the Forever War, though I think Old Man's War improves upon the formula in almost every way. The Forever War certainly takes itself seriously and has some very bleak moments, which makes sense given its allegorical relationship with the Vietnam War. Overall, I think The Forever War is a solid classic that, for me, belongs firmly in the B tier. The next book I read was The Ghost Brigades, the second book in John Scalzi's Old Man's War series. I just realized how military sci-fi heavy this first quarter has been for me. I just did a tier ranking of the entire series, so we know this goes in the A tier. Then the next book I read was The Last Colony, the third book in the Old Man's War series. Again, just finished my series retrospective, so we know this goes in the A tier, uh, but beneath the Ghost Brigades. Moving on. This is how you lose the Time War. You can probably guess from my positively glowing review where this one's going. It's beautiful and clever and short and sweet. I have no complaints about it whatsoever other than that I can't read it again for the first time. S tier all day. Zoe's Tale. Again, if you've seen my Old Man's War series retrospective, you know where this one goes. It is A tier, just ahead of Ghost Brigades. Next is Don Quixote. This was my first unabridged reading of Cervantes' masterpiece. And a masterpiece it undoubtedly is, and surely it deserves a place in the S tier. Now, did I personally enjoy it more than This Is How You Lose the Time War? That's tough if I'm being completely honest. While I recognize the literary importance of the book as a whole, I enjoyed part one vastly more than I enjoyed part two. So if I could split the book in half, I'd put the front half ahead of Time War and the back half behind Time War. But since I can't, I think it's only fair to place it right here behind Time War. It's still in the S tier where it belongs. Please don't yell at me. The Human Division. As I stated in my last video, it goes in the B tier. Now, did I enjoy it more than The Forever War? Again, that's tough. I think that The Forever War is a technically better book, but I definitely enjoyed Human Division more, even though it was my least favorite of the Old Man's War books. So I'm going to go ahead and put the human division right there. Sorry, Joe Holdeman. Notes from Underground. Dostoevsky's critique of nihilism and rational egoism. Dostoevsky explores the human condition like no one else, and I have appreciated everything I've read from him. But this one was a challenging read that was technically good, but frankly, not very enjoyable. I think I'm gonna put this one in the A tier for its technical merit, but for me, it definitely goes toward the bottom of the A tier. Stop yelling at me, I hear you yelling at me right now. All Systems Red, the first Murderbot book by Martha Wells. 
This is another short and sweet sci-fi romp about a killing machine cyborg that would much rather be watching TV alone than performing its murderous duties. This book was fun and really served to whet my appetite for the rest of the series, which I plan on tackling in the upcoming months. It's eight here all day, but did I like it more than any of the Perry family saga books in the Old Man's War series? Probably not. I think it belongs right here, just behind the last colony. All right, Chasm City, the second book in Alistair Reynolds' Revelation Space Universe. My goodness, this book is astonishing. It enriches the Revelation Space Universe immensely while telling its own self-contained story that just keeps blowing your mind with pretty much every chapter. This is jumping straight to the top of the S tier without a doubt, and will be hard to supplant. All right, The End of All Things, the final book in the Old Man's War series. Again, I talk about these books ad nauseum in my last video, but this one is better than The Human Division, but not quite A tier. So it goes right there. Roadside Picnic. This was a reread for me uh, that I did with a friend. And I loved it just as much uh, as the first time, if not more so, as I was able to pick up more on some of the subtleties that I missed the first go round. It is one of my favorite books of all time with one of the greatest, most hauntingly beautiful endings of all time. And it goes right here, right at the very top. It's not even fair. I love this book so much. Um, I'll likely do a deep dive into it at some point on this channel. Uh, I won't be able to help myself. <laughs> All right, Red Shirts. Uh, this may very well be my favorite Skullsy to date. Uh, it's such a great, unique concept that really plays with metafiction in a way I've not seen done anywhere near this well before. I'm definitely putting it in the S tier, but now I'm torn. It feels almost sacrilegious to put red shirts ahead of Don Quixote. Uh, if the entirety of Don Quixote was its part one, I would definitely uh, be putting it ahead of red shirts. Um, if I, I'd be putting it ahead of this is how to lose the time war. Uh, I probably still just Chasm City just blew my mind. Um, so I would still probably be putting Chasm City ahead of it. Again, don't yell at me. This is my tier ranking. You can rank yours however you want. Uh, <laughs> part two of Don Quixote just frankly overstayed its welcome a bit for me. And by the time I finished it, I was just ready to move on. I do think I'm going to go ahead and put red shirts right here, right ahead of Don Quixote with the asterisk stating that obviously Don Quixote is a technically better book. <laughs> But my goodness, Red Shirts was just so fun. A Quantum Murder, the second book in the Greg Mandel trilogy by Peter F. Hamilton, or as my wife calls him, PDF Hammy. This one was really good, but wasn't paced quite as well as the first book, Mindstar Rising. These are cyberpunk books with a whole lot of style. Greg Mandel is just such a cool character and he's surrounded by a supporting cast that all have distinct voices. I really enjoyed it and I'm excited to finish the trilogy. I think I'm going to put this one at the bottom of the A tier, right behind Notes from Underground. Yeah, I feel good about that. All right, Piranesi by Susanna Clark. This was one that had come highly recommended by a friend and boy, were they right. This was like if House of Leaves were actually enjoyable. Its prose is gorgeous. And while I spent the first 60% or so of the book confused out of my mind, everything really comes together in the end to create this haunting, lovely tale. I definitely put it in the S tier, probably right behind Time War though they are neck and neck for sure. Time War probably takes the cake because I'm just a sucker for good sci-fi. Whereas 
Piranesi feels a little more on the fantasy side. All right, finally, Synth of Joy by DG Compton. This one is sort of a precursor to cyberpunk as it came out in 1968 and deals with recording people's experiences and emotions onto a device called a sensitape and then playing that back in what is essentially what we would nowadays call virtual reality. This was a really good book, if not just a little bit predictable by the end. It actually turns out to be more of a character study of a woman scorned than the great grandfather of Neuromancer, but the character work is fantastic and it moves along at a great pace. It's short and shockingly prescient. And for these reasons, I'm going to put it right here in the A tier, right behind Notes from Underground. I think it's a little bit better than a quantum murder. Yeah, I feel good about that. This is, again, objectively correct. Come at me in the comments. <laughs> All right. So that's my tier ranking of the first quarter. Have you read any of these books? If so, what are your thoughts? Let me know down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I upload a new video every other week. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, we on.